hello welcome back to my channel today we'll be sewing this beautiful uh, bag you can call it a tooth bag or just a normal uh, bag or a purse there is a vinyl i added it's all optional if you would like to add vinyl it's uh, it's up to you you can make it all one piece from the same fabric i also have a very cute uh, zipper uh, pull and uh, it's very big from the inside i would like to show you how it is very well done and uh, what could fit so like you see it fits a whole entire notebook inside it um also there is a pocket here i want to show it to you we look closer there is a pocket it's a small pocket just can fit your phone um, it's very big from the inside like you see there is a pocket and this is uh, what how big is the notebook that you can fit inside it see, comparing to the bag see how big is it so I hope you will enjoy this bag it's very easy to make I also use the d-ring uh, if you like not to use a d-ring just the strap directly you can you can do so it's all up to you and again if you want to add the vinyl it's uh, all up to you if you don't want to you can make it all one piece all one color it's uh, it's uh, up to your preferences and your taste so i encourage you to subscribe to my channel if this is your first time uh, and don't forget to check out the rest of the videos i have in my channel and without any further ado let's get started so here is what you need. You will need a long zipper. This is a 20, uh, 26 inches zipper. Uh, of course you can have a smaller one. Uh, just I always like to have an extra length of the my zipper. Also you will need two straps. The straps are uh, 26 by 3 inches. And like you see I, uh, um, I fold it into half and then I fold this edge into half and this edge into another half and then you fold it all together into a, a very nice finish uh, strap so you need two of these 26 by 3 inches also you will need a small zipper it could be 9 inch zipper for the internal pocket uh, for the internal bucket it is uh, 6 by 7 inches 6 by 7 and you need two pieces okay these are the lining uh, uh, fabric that I'm using for the lining you need 13 inches by 13 inches and you need two pieces I have them on, on fold because I don't want to have a uh, to the bottom so it's all up to you if you cut it into two uh, two equal squares that's also uh, completely fine uh, I also I have two zipper tabs uh, it, the size is normally for zipper tabs are three by four or um, we always gonna trim off this extra but this is how you fold it again you fold the fold it into two halves and then you fold the two edges into two other halves and the two D rings. This is also <clears throat> an optional. Uh, you can have your straps without a ring, right? So it's all up to you. And uh, also for the main parts, the measurements is 13 by 11. So 13 by 11. I need. I have two pieces for the exterior. Uh, another thing is. Uh, the leather uh, pieces is going to be on the bottom of your tube bag so it's optional if you want to cut your whole bag from one fabric that's up to you but I decided to add some uh, um, uh, some vinyl to my bag we are going as I mentioned I'm gonna use vinyl so if you're not using vinyl you can skip this, st uh, this step uh, I also uh, kind of add some batting to my uh, bag uh, you can also quilt your bag if you wish um, I'm thinking to quilt it and then I said no I don't like it to be quilted so it's all up to you at this stage if you are planning on quilting your bag you can go ahead and do this right now uh, so what I'm going to do I'm gonna attach my vinyl piece face down attach my vinyl to my fabric
We're going to do this for the two pieces. Okay, and we are going to sew here and there. Uh, once you finish sewing, it should look like this. Uh, I also want, uh, would like to give it a top stitch here and there. And this is how it looks like after we finish top stitching. Now we are going to uh, work on our zipper. So for the zipper, you want to make sure the zipper is shorter than the bag, obviously. If you want it to be longer than the bag, that's another option, but I'm not doing that option. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut my zipper a little bit shorter than my bag. So let's see. You can save this uh, zipper for your... Um, uh, to any other project you can use it and attach another uh, zipper head for it so these are my uh, zipper ends so I'm going to attach it to my zipper This is how it looks like after we finish sewing the zipper ends. So now we are going to attach our zipper to our bag. So you want to make sure you put it face down. I also mark my center of my zipper and I'm going to attach it to the center of my bag as well. We also going in this step we also going to attach our lining piece so what you know what you need to do is attach the, the right side together for your lining so we are going to attach it you want to make sure we align center with the center So we're gonna do the same exact process again for the other side of the zipper. We're going to get our external piece face down, attach the center to the center. Now for the lining, we can do the same exact thing. We are going to attach it to the zipper and the right side together. And now we are going to cut these zipper ends, that, uh, the extra zipper ends from all the way so I forgot to add the intern uh, the interior uh, pocket so I had to open my lining uh, it wasn't like that <laughs> I wanted to be one piece but anyways that's fine so I'm gonna add my pocket now to make the interior pocket so we want to uh, get my pocket face down Make sure it's center. I'm going to eyeball it here. And 
this is how it should look like. We're gonna get our other uh, pocket uh, piece and we're gonna face it down right side together and we are going to sew only across the side, the top and the other side and leaving the bottom open. This is how it should look like. I also folded and ironed the edge of my pocket. This way you will see how this is going to be very helpful when you turn your bag inside out. Now we are going to work in our straps. Now we are going to assemble our bag by attaching the right side together. 